Hello, it's Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. I wanted to go through how to import the list of appointments uh, that you might have on an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. Usually comes into play when we're working with a medical practice or a dental practice um, that's using a separate scheduling system and they're unable to bring in the appointments to Google Calendar and or uh, Office 365 Calendar Outlook. Um, it should look something similar to this format here. This is just a new test that I pulled down. We really only need the phone, uh, the date and the time from the sheet because the message can just be generic automated. <clears throat> um, if you don't have uh, this particular format, don't worry about it. You just need to kind of move it around when you go through the uh, import wizard process. If it's coming down in a PDF or something or downloading in a PDF, you need to be able to cut and paste that into either an Excel file or CSV format top file. So depending on your scheduler, you might have to do a little bit of work to get, get your appointments in the a format that will work for our system. So um, this is just a test one that we made. And where we're at in the system is if you come up here to the import section under appointments, you're going to click there, and then you're just going to click up here, top left-hand corner on new import. This is a little step-through wizard, very simple to use. Just hit next, and you're going to go look for for the file, uh, wherever you've got it saved. Tell it what type of file it is, if it's a CSV or an Excel, be about the only reason you need to change that. Um, in our case, the file does have headers in it. Um, so if you look back at the file, this is a header file or just kind of the title of that particular column. So we're gonna check that. If, obviously, if you don't have that, don't need to check it. And if you have like blank space or whatever, you can ignore a couple of the first rows. So from there, just hit next. It's gonna pull the file in and things to pay attention to up in the top right hand corner what calendar you're going to pull that into so this is going to go on the demo calendar but if you had multiple uh practitions or just different calendars you're managing uh, make sure that you bring it in on the calendar the appointment reminder script is this default script by default but uh, the way this system works is it's going to work off the send settings for that particular calendar so it brings those appointment ends if you have it set <clears throat> on a sequence for this particular calendar, it will run it per that sequence um, and or send times with the scripting. So uh, really just know it's gonna go based off the calendar settings. Um, and then when you first initially bring this in, you're going to have to map the particular columns. I've already done this. Um, you can see a list of choices and options here uh, for, what, for what fields to make that. And then we just hit next. It uh, does its thing. It might take a minute or two, to, especially depending on how big your file is. If you have a very, very large file here, uh, it can take a little bit. So be patient with this uh, particular step. <clears throat> All right, so now we can see the appointment's been added to the uh, calendar here. And if I just click on the appointment itself and click update, I can see what the customer name was, when the appointment was. We picked up the phone number here. If we had an email in there, we would have done the same thing. And then just simply click on the timeline and you can see exactly what's going to happen, when that reminder is going to send, when the email would send. In this case, we don't have an email address, so it's not going to send it. Um, but nice little overview under the timeline feature of exactly what's going to happen. Um, that's it. It's a pretty simple system. Reach out to us if you need some additional help on how to do this um, and or if you have a different different off use case or whatever. Our email is support at appointmentreminder.com. Best way to get a hold of us though is our little chat tool. And thank you.